Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 Tech, and in this video I'll be showing you how to flash the Viper One ROM for the HTC One. This works with most versions of the HTC One barring the Sprint version. So uh, what is the Viper One ROM in the first place? So this is a highly themable ROM. You get both uh, the Google Play Edition based Viper ROM as well as the Sense based ROM. As of today, it runs the latest version of Android. Uh, it's got Android 4.4 as a base. So there you go with Sense 5.5 and it should be updated uh, as and when the HTC One uh, receives updates. So what's special about the Viper One? There are tons of customization options here right from uh, pulling down from the right to access these quick toggles or getting quick toggle set up over here or uh, having the Pi Launcher built in by default. Uh, say for example, I've got some extra tweaks here like say the AOSP uh, a lock screen or just holding down volume to turn your screen off waking it again with down volume or holding up volume to activate uh, the flashlight okay let me just turn that off so and there are a lot of tweaks you can also get the HTC key to act as a menu button so basically what's special about this ROM are the Viper tweaks so you've got a lot of options here you can customize the notification bar. You can even install Exposed Framework. It supports it. If you guys are interested, here's how you flash it. So the first thing you do is make sure that your HTC One is rooted and has a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod Recovery or TWRP installed. If you haven't done that already, the link to my video tutorial on how to get you to do that can be found right below the like button in the description. So follow my tutorial, get your phone rooted with a custom recovery and continue. So the next thing you need to do is hit link 1 from the download section in the description and that will take you to this page on HDA developers forums. So from here you can download the latest version of the Viper 1 ROM. So once you've downloaded it, transfer it to your internal memory. I guess before you do anything, just go ahead do a backup uh, of all your apps and data because you might end up losing apps and data uh, when you flash the Viper 1 ROM. So once you've done that, go ahead and turn off your phone. So now with your HTC One off, just hold the down volume and power buttons at the same time. Okay, this will take you to the bootloader mode. Uh, yours might look a little different, don't worry about that. Just use the volume keys to navigate to recovery and hit the power button to select. So now this will take you to the uh, recovery, either TWRP or Clockwork mode. All right, I've got TWRP on it right now. So what you do here first is hit on install. All right, scroll down and select Viper 1 and swipe to confirm flash. Don't wipe anything, just hit install first. It will load up the Aroma installer. All right, hit agree, next, next. So right now, go into flash extras first and select uh, flash TWRP recovery okay the latest version will be built into Viper so if it is not built in forget about it just follow it once I reboot uh, the recovery but if it is available make sure you flash the latest recovery here all right so now uh, it will reboot okay and I'm going into home reboot and hit uh, reboot bootloader all right we'll uh, reload recovery from there okay so now I've hit bootloader and scroll down select recovery all right so now if the latest version of uh, team uh, that's TWRP recovery has been loaded again hit install now select Viper 1 and uh, swipe to flash aroma loader will load up again Aroma installer rather. Okay, I agree. Next. Next. So now hit install Viper 1. So guys, over here, if you're coming from a basic uh, sense-based stock ROM, you can try installing without wiping. Uh, if you're coming from a Cyanogen mod or Google Play experience-based ROM, that is basically an AOSP ROM, wipe all your data. All right, like I said, make sure you have a backup of your data before you uh, start flashing the ROM. 
and try uh, if it's even if it's with a sense based rom or stock sense and you go ahead install it without wiping if you run into a boot loop you'll have to boot back into the into recovery and do a manual wipe i'm just going to continue without wiping because i'm on a sense based rom anyway all right over here the first uh, option is a set of preloaded configurations done by the viper team the second one is a stock config where, where you choose uh, everything that you need whatever features you need or not uh, the third option is if you already are on a Viper ROM and you're upgrading or just reflashing, you can just keep your existing uh, tweaks. So let me select the stock config over here. So you get a few options. You can even remove HTC Sense completely from a Sense based ROM uh, by checking it over here. Anyway, you can just choose whatever you want. And uh, that's it. Now it's going to take a few minutes to flash. I'll be back with you guys once it's done. And anyway, if you run into any issues over here, uh, if it says error failed or something like that, it means you might not be on the latest version uh, of the custom recovery, say for example, TWRP here. If you haven't flashed it from the ROM or if it isn't available from the current uh, version of the ROM that you've downloaded, just make sure you get the latest recovery and flash it. Uh, and that should fix your issue in all probability. So guys over here you can select reboot your device now and hit finish but uh, I'm not going to do that right now because I want to show you guys something else. Okay the reason why I didn't reboot my phone is because I want to show you guys something else. So guys the first boot always takes longer than your regular boot time so don't panic if it takes about 5-7 to seven minutes it's normal. But if by chance you're still stuck in a boot loop you still see the Google or HTC logos and uh, you're not able to boot up this is what you need to do. First off Hold the power button, turn off the phone, now uh, power and down volume at the same time. Okay, this will take you to your bootloader mode again. Alright, again, go back to recovery. Alright, so over here, select wipe and just swipe to factory reset. Don't do an advanced wipe, just do this go back and uh, go back again hit reboot and system all right you need to do this only if you get stuck in a boot loop so again like I said it might take five to seven minutes for your phone to boot up so don't worry about it just give it time and your phone will be back up all right guys we're wrapped so let me quickly run through setup all right you need to uh, grant super user privileges to venom tweaks so just select that and just run through setup. So alright guys, we are up. So that's blink feed for you. Going into settings about software information and I see HTC Sense 5.5, Android version 4.4 KitKat. So I guess that's pretty much it for installing uh, the Viper One ROM onto your HTC One. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to uh, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. So if you guys run into any issues or if you have any queries, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you as and when I can. So once again, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching uh, and I'll catch you guys soon in the next one. Till then, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.